Are they following me through the tram? No, 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 no. 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 Don't. Take somewhere else. Come on, bro. What an asshole. What an asshole do you have to be, man. It's the Russian guys. Obviously the Russian guys. I apologize profusely for any inconvenience my murderous rampage may have caused. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Welcome. Good morning. We are playing... Uh, you know it already. Our naked mage again. Back in business. Oh. Okay, first you have to fly. Because I picked up my world buffs yesterday evening so we have onyxia and sandala which will hopefully increase our leveling speed a tiny bit because our leveling speed is quite low lately which is because yeah i'm naked i don't have mana i don't have spirit yeah also there was some nice priest buffing me power word 32 26 holy shit without this buff i have less than 500 hp that's almost almost doubling my HP, man. Holy shit. Well, I need to be careful when it runs off. Burning steps, man. So far away, yet so near. That would be the dream. Naked mage in burning steps. Then I know I will almost have it done. Where, where are we flying? Wetlands, right? Yeah. We have to fight little monsters first. And then we can go to burning, cru uh, burning crusade. Yeah, sure. We fight the little monsters and then we fight level 70 monsters. How about that? Burning steps. Oh no, it's raining again. Why is it raining everywhere where I'm going with Naked Mage? Literally, I flew through five areas and nowhere it was raining. Just here where I want to quest. I'm going to get sick very sure, man. All right. Okay, so we accept quests and then we pump. Okay, here's the first Wetlands quest. James Halloran, Young Crocolus skins. Sure, no problem. We don't need the healing potions. We can do them ourselves. Carl Boran, Claws from the Deep. Also, no problem. We will do this. We will do this. Hey, hey, first mate Fitzsimmons. You need something? Yeah, experience. So tell me what I have to do and I'll do it. Buy flagon of dwarven honey meat. I would never order this drink because I would be scared to misspell it. Great to meet you. Okay. How are ya? Where is it? The flagon. There we go. Safe travels. Safe travels for you as well. And the absent-minded prospector also here apart. Well met. It's a very long chain quest. Oh, I got buffed. That's nice. Here you have an intellect buff, my friend. Oh, I'm already back. Made Fitzsimmons. I don't know. I just had a talk, I guess. Okay, so here we go. Wetlands. And we start off with... Killing murlocs and crocodiles. Whatever the people of Wetlands wish me to do, I'll do it. I really don't want to waste much time today. Um, yeah, because with the world buffs, let's be as effective as possible. We only need four skins of them and I think the drop rate is quite decent. If I remember that correctly. Don't pull this fen dweller. Naked mage, man. I was really excited today to play. I don't know, man. It's uh, it's really fun, this challenge. I really start enjoying it. I mean, I enjoyed it the whole time, but... Even more in the last... I'm out of range. ...few days. Okay, here we use the first mana potion. And skin. Ah. Yeah, okay, but there are more crocodiles over there, so it will be no problem. Let's start killing murlocs, and we need the, the chef of them, Gobbler. Let's see if we can find Gobbler. Gobbler, oh, I think I see him. There it is. Gobbler, oh, spawned directly in front of my face. Okay, then let's do the, the chef of them first. I mean, I wouldn't call him a boss. He's not elite, he's not rare. It's literally just a mob that has a few more HP than his comrades. There we go. All right, so we have to kill... No, not the puddle jumpers, but the normal murlocs. And we just have to kill them, right? No looting or something. Okay, that's good. Bria form, we also pick that up. Surely. Uh, I need to drink. Also, I can eat buff food. Didn't do that yet. 
And if you wanna be serious, we also take a bit of alchemy stuff. We're not doing it for fun, right? We are doing it to actually use it. Um, what do I want? Minor defense? I guess one minor defense. And one minor fortitude. Then we are happy. Look at our buffs, man. Holy shit. We are MC ready. We can kill Ragnaros right now with all these buffs. Where is this flame guy? Bring him to me. Am I using rank 1? Yeah. Always use rank 1 Frost Nova because you just want the effect and the effect on, on rank 1, rank 2, rank 3, rank 4. It's always 8 seconds. Doesn't matter. It's just a little bit more damage. But the damage doesn't matter of your Frost Nova. Like if it does 30, 50 or 70 damage, you rather have it uh, a low mana cost because obviously the first one is also cost less mana. Okay, we fight our way to the Bria Forn. I really want that. Two resists in a row? Do they have some higher resist chance against frost spells? Maybe they do. Because that's quite a lot of resists. Oh, we wanted to fight our way to the Bria Forn. Now we're fighting somewhere else. Man, the resists? They really resist a lot. Holy! Come on! Don't do this to me. I think they have some resistance. Life root. Oh, life root is really good. Come to me. Okay, we are enough uproad. Let's kill Murlocs again. Oh, this time we're starting off with a crit. No resists here. Boom. That was quick. Here is one in the water. They must have some uh, frost resistance. No way they are resisting so much. Why am I zoomed in so far? Holy shit, I just realized it after like 10 minutes. The graveyard, man. I hope no one has to visit this place. But probably in reality a lot of people will have to do. Okay, 11. One more and then one more crocodile and we are fine. Good. So this quest is done. Now we walk into this direction. Okay, here we have the last young crocolisk skin. So we are done with that. And now we have to walk a little bit. Aina Stone Grip. Hello, my dwarf friend. Interestiana Pint. Interestiana Pint. What the fuck is he really saying? Like, I'm always repeating Interestiana Pint, but he's obviously not saying Interestiana Pint. Interested in a pint, maybe? I don't know. Talk to me. Talk to me. Bruce Wheat. No. Keep it real. Keep it realer, man, Kixel. Keep it realer. Sad that you cannot play goblins in classic, man. If you would be able to play goblins in classic, I would also probably play horde. Goblins and gnomes are the best classes. No discussion about that. Okay, Raphael the Green Warden. Hey, hey. Oh, there is the level up. 25, so we can use the better water now. And we can get another skill point. Let's check that real quick. Arctic Reach, more range, not really necessary. Frost Channeling reduces the mana cost of your Frost Spells and reduces the threat. I mean, I'm not having threat problems, I'm mostly solo leveling anyways. But lesser mana cost is actually not bad. Increases the critical strike chance of your, all your spells against frozen targets by 10%. That's actually quite good. I think Shatter is a no-brainer. Because obviously I'm freezing a lot of targets and when I'm freezing them, then I have a better crit chance. Actually quite a good skill and you can have it up to 50% increased crit chance when you skill it five times. All right, we farm a bit of these moss hills. We need quite a lot of them, to be honest. I like to do it from the other side. I have my favorite spot for this quest and I'm gonna use my favorite spot. It's over there. There's a little camp. All right, we have to kill a lot of these. Wait, Fenrunner? Actually, I don't have to kill Fenrunners, I think. Oh, only Gnolls and Mongrels. Okay. So this was unnecessary. Okay, here we are. Knolls. 15 of them need to die. Quite a lot. Another mage is here. I don't really like that. Is he gonna screw up my pulls? Oh, he's he's AoEing. He's doing what I wish I could do, but I have the wrong talents. And the, the thing is, if you go for the talents, for the AoE farm talents, then you are basically doomed into AoE farming, because then you are really bad if you're not. It's a, another way to hit level 60. Sure, but I would do like AOE pulls for 60 levels straight. And if you do AOE pulls for 60 levels straight, you don't decurse me, my friend. That's gonna be very boring. So I prefer the solo way. 
I only have one inventory space left, man. We can already start clearing that because we're gonna need to, to do that anyways. That's my first silk cloth, by the way. So, if we get hands on silk bandages, we can already do some. Okay, what else? The pearl? Tangy clam meat? I also don't know. Let's sell this. Let's sell this. They're quite quick respawning here, as you see. They already came back. So that's why I like this spot here in particular the most. Because you literally can't keep up with killing them. They're spawning quicker than you'll be able to kill them. I'm not sure about it if we are two players, which we are right now. But it should be fine. I think he's roaming around anyways. And doing other camps. Oh, more of them got another one. Wait, Yazik? Oh no. <laughs> it's a smurf of someone of my guild. Yikes, my friend, yikes. Yeah, and we also get a lot of wool cloth from them, so that's pretty good for my first aid. Actually, I could stay here for like an hour and farm these for an hour. So I get enough wool cloth to get the silk cloth bandages. And as you know, I already have one silk cloth. So I could craft one silk bandage. Oh, I have no mana. I need a little bit of base rack. Let's do that. I want the full evocation value and if he hits me, I'm probably not getting it full. So I needed to CC him before I use it in fight. And I also need to increase my skill and defense. So let's tank a few of them a little bit. Like if they're low HP and not dangerous anymore, I can let them hit me a bit. Especially now that I have a stamina buff from some nice priest. Do you see the, how quick the respawns are? There's no way I can kill them in the same time they're respawning. Where are you going, mate? 39. 78. He hits me for 78. <laughs> I really need to scale my defense. Yeah, okay, guys. We have to do it. We have to do it. It's time. Time to level defense. Maybe also once if I'm not hitting him. So we're gonna tank a little bit. Oh, scroll of agility, man. Doesn't really help me. Okay, my intellect buff is off, though. As well as my... Oh, I, that's why I got so hit, so hard hit. Because my frost armor wasn't active. And that's 260 armor, because I skilled it. It's not just 200. Okay, hit me, bitch. Give me a few of your hits. Oh, only one? What a weak knoll are you, man. Oh, I didn't even see this guy. Where is he coming from? Oh, there's another one coming. Maybe zoom a little bit more out so I can be sure I'm not accidentally pulling another one. Mm, I'm Oom again. Also, let's bandage. Here he comes. Need to kite him a bit because I have no mana. How much do I get out? Three? Four? Okay, the rest should be doable with a wand. Yeah, yeah. Hit me so I get my defense skill, my friend. No, 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 no. Don't let him debuff me. Scroll of protection, man. Can I even use this? Okay, I can instantly use this. Yeah, he's pretty sure quicker than me. <laughs> I mean, he also has gear on. And he's not even self-found. He's gonna be much quicker than me. But... His journey is gonna be much more boring than mine. I still choose my journey over his. I wonder if there is a way to skill defense skill safely. And I heard something like with the rats in the deep run drum, but I have no idea how this should work. Because they have one HP, like if I attack them, they're instantly dead, so they won't attack me back. Don't know if I'm missing anything, but this might not work. Yeah, whatever. We killed 25 of them, and we got 12 wool. Less than... A half wool cloth per mob. Oh, there we go. Defense skill 105. There we go, finally. But still, we're missing 20 defense points. That's no joke, guys. That's no joke. Okay, we are back. We brought you some paws. Oh, he's very happy. Do you see how happy he is? He's the happiest guy ever. Yay! Woo! Woo! Yippee! Oh, we hardstone? Sure, we hearthstone. So that was quite quick, man. Daily delivery and young crocolis skin. I did something for you, James Halloran. Even though you have the worst haircut in the game. Yeah, but it, no, it's okay. Alliance. It's okay. If you like it, then I like it as well. King's honor, friend. King's honor.
Carrie Boren. Light be with you. Light be with you. Fly to Iron Forge. Train your class spells. I already did that. Train teleport Iron Forge. Okay. Hello. Training teleport Iron Forge is uh, worth it, I guess. Also, we have to turn in some stuff there. Little Wizard in Iron Forge and Stormwind. Then we go Duskwood already. Oh no, Duskwood. Not Duskwood, man. Not Duskwood. In case you don't know, my Warlock died in Duskwood to Morladim. I accidentally pulled him, didn't see him roaming around. And then I, I had no chance to flee. And on my Rogue, I was uh, just doing a normal quest actually. And suddenly three casters started uh, fireballing me because they had a huge chain range. Like they chained like over the whole half field. And then I was running away instantly. The fireballs hit me before I could see them because of a little lag or something. And then I wasn't ready to heal pot. 28 Warlock died to Morladim. 26 Rogue died to actually normal fire mages. Yeah, that's how life is. And now we're going back. We're going back to Duskwood, but this time we don't even have, have cloth on. That's the disrespect, man. That's the real disrespect. Okay, we have the portal trainer here. That's the one. Greetings. Hey, greetings. I take the teleport to Ironforge. You have a, great day now. You have a better day. All right, here's another quest we can turn in and then we take the drum. Lomak gear strip. Pleased to meet you. Is he stripping for gear? I mean, I'm stripping for gear, obviously. Maybe he's my soulmate. Oh, I just saw the last bit of the drum. It just left. So here are the reds. How can I train my defense skill with these reds? Like, how can I kill them? Uh, make the... Oh. Counterspell? Bro, I can counterspell them. That's genius. And now he's gonna increase my defense skill. Do I have any more I can do that doesn't do damage? I think it's just counterspell that I can do that doesn't do damage but actually pulls aggro. Defense skill 106, it's working, man. It's working, that's genius. Honestly, do I stay here for a while and... Oh no, they reset it. We do it in Stormwind. Let's take the drum first. Okay, here. No, are no... Don't tell me there is no rats on this side of the drum. I don't see any rats. Oh no, it's only in the Iron Forge side. <sighs> I'm wasting time, man. <laughs> I love the random encounters with people. I'm not telling a joke. Let's see. Someday I hope to find the nuggets on a chicken. <laughs> Ach, oh man, I love my little girl. Do you play without world buffs too? What the fuck is this love, man? He's self found as well, man. Let's go, mate. I'm always cheering for the other self founds. Okay, so let's gather some reds that attack me. No, that's my... Bro! No, my reds! Okay, now I don't cheer for him anymore. Spider SF? I hope you die. <laughs> that sounds so hard if you say it like that. Okay, here, come at me. Okay, they already respawned. The respawn time is super quick. I don't know how much I want to attack me, but yeah, I have 30 seconds cooldown on the counter spell anyways. The thing is right now I'm ragging quicker than one red can hit me. Okay, here we have the second one. I should also out rag that. Man, I always knew there is some way to do this defense skilling in the, in the deep run, but I never knew how. But now I'm smarter, man. Come here. Okay, three hitting me now. But my defense skill is going up quite quickly, man. 108 already. So like this, I could actually go AFK, right? I could now just, I don't know, do something else. But it looks like four? Yeah, four are actually killing me slowly. Slowly, but they are killing me. Okay, so we stay with four, I guess. And you see the defense skill is going up so quickly, man. Holy shit. I thought like I'm gonna be here for 15 minutes, but it's literally every 20 seconds that I get a new skill. <laughs> what is he thinking, man? There is a naked mage staying in the drum getting hit by fucking rats. Oh. 
Okay, the next time a drum is here, we take it. Because we need to go back, right? I wonder what happens if we put them on a drum, actually. Are they following me to the drum? No, 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 no! 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 Don't! Take somewhere else! Come on, bro! What an asshole! What an asshole do you have to be, man? It's the Russian guys. Obviously the Russian guys. Man, on the other side are reds as well. There are reds everywhere in this fucking tri- Oh my goodness, man. <sighs> Come with me on the drum. Okay, he doesn't follow on the drum. Okay, it's okay. We have how much skill? Defense 121. Okay, 121. Uh, that's actually, I'm happy with that. Actually, we still have world buffs, right? Let's not waste them. But what an asshole, man. Some people just didn't get the hardcore spirit, I guess. Or maybe he also has no idea what I was doing there. Hey, you. I need Stormwind seasoning herbs, please. Greetings. Greetings. There we have it. And we already sell our stuff that we don't need. Also, my herbing bag is full again. Oh, I can sell the swift fizzles. I have no use for it, it's just for rogues. So that's a little bit of a clear. So call in Morin. He has some quests for Duskwood, I think. And we also turn in Hello. something. See you later. Okay, we're done here. Rune of teleportation, we already have that. And we fly to Westfall, all right. We just use this flight path here to go into Duskwood because the flight path for Duskwood is actually further away from the quests we want to do than the flight path in Westfall is. So that's a little time saver here. Okay, welcome to Duskwood. The place where my warlock and uh, rogue died.